Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Music with Todd Ledbetter. I appreciate you guys clicking on the channel each and every time you do. And we are going to stick with the theme of some new releases from 2023. Some bands, maybe new bands, they may be uh, bands that have been around for decades, but they've released albums in 2023. And this band is no different. Uh, this band is called East of the Wall. And they have a brand new release from 2023. It's eight songs, 41 minutes, 46 seconds, called A Neutral Second. A Neutral Second. And we're just going to start from the very first song on the album called Detonator Gauntlet. Sounds intriguing. So uh, let's just get right on into it and uh, start with East of the Wall, Detonator Gauntlet. <laughs> Starts out great. I like the way the guitars are intertwining with each other. string bass Trust 
sang out for blood Does it get too late to hunt for fun? Does it really matter? If I have this mind Strong enough to care Nice. Wow, that was surprisingly fantastic. Okay, let's see. I think I'm good here. Sometimes the next video starts. That was excellent. I enjoyed that tremendously. And that song developed uh, in an amazing way. It, was, it started off just balls out. It was great. It caught my attention right away. But there was so much in that. And I have to say, I really like the singer. And I like, uh, and, I, and I was thinking to myself, I really like the harmonies too. And then towards, you know, the second half of the song, they kind of broke down a little bit. And all of a sudden there was that other guy singing. So that's good to know that there's two singers in there, two lead singers. And so they're harmonizing. I was wondering if it was, uh, you know, just the lead singer harmonizing on the track or, you know, uh, dubbing over himself whatever but it's it's good to see that there's uh, a couple of singers there I like that uh, fantastic the guitar work was amazing I really that that seemed very unique to me that's that I never heard anything quite like that you know there was the one real aggressive aggressive guitar and then there was that other one going bang dong bong dong just adding another sonic element to the song uh, that I thought was very unique but worked really really well um I've never heard these guys before, and that was a really, really good uh, uh, debut, as far as I'm concerned, a debut for me. Um, these guys are from uh, uh, New Jersey, I guess. So uh, United States and New Jersey, uh, fantastic, super great band. The bass player was killing it. Did you see that? Uh, it looked like a five-string bass man, and he was, for most of the beginning, a lot of the beginning of the song, he was really hitting that uh, that top low string just give it that ballsy and you could hear the bass really well too so a lot of times with metal music sometimes uh they drop the bass down and they really emphasize the guitar but you can hear the bass and then he was just working it he was doing some killer killer runs uh throughout that song fantastic uh and you know and the drummer it was very very musical drummer he was super busy but but very musical in keeping with how busy the whole song was everybody was super busy on their instruments but somehow it was all cohesive and it made a real sonic uh uh, uh exciting song to listen to and I loved that they had different elements and as the song developed, you know, they kind of broke it down and then they just gave you a few different elements because uh, once you're kind of going, you're driving, you're driving and all of a sudden they give you something else to kind of give you a little rest and something else to focus on. Really well developed song, I thought. It was perfect. Uh, that was good. I really enjoyed that a lot. Had the heavier edge to it uh, for sure. Uh, the, the vocally it was it was you know clean vocals and a little softer the way he was his voice but i like it i like i think it's great um i like unique voices his his voice wasn't really unique or anything but it was good and the harmonies were good and i liked the way it fit in with the uh the rest of the uh because it was almost like almost like opposite of the rest of the song because it was ba -da -da -da. Da, the melody was kind of like sort of almost like lazy a lazy river you know where the rest of the song all the other instrumentations were kind of manic yeah so that was an interest i was also interesting too uh the way that played in it seemed to me as though um 
there was sort of some almost like keyboard elements, but I didn't see keyboard player. But the one of the guitar, you know, a lot of the guitar effects and sort of soundscape was really cool. So I, I assume that that some of that was just guitar uh, soundscape stuff, which is really, really, really neat. Uh, the way they implemented that it looked like it was two guitars, bass, drums. Uh, so for four guys, two singers, uh, that's a lot of music for four guys. I didn't really see a, a keyboard player. I could have been wrong, but the video was cool to watch them sort of do that. Uh, I was kind of playing, paying close attention to the video uh, as as well as listening closely. But uh, very, very good. I enjoyed that uh, tremendously. Uh, these guys are, uh, yeah, like I said, from New Jersey. And uh, they've played, played around quite a bit. So I was just looking to see uh, real quickly how many uh, albums they have. It looks as though... They've got a few here, so my computer's running a little slow. It looks like 2008 with their first album, Farmer's Almanac, and then they got a 2010, 2011, 13, 19, and 2023. So they've got a few albums, uh, you know, and I don't know how those uh, compare against this one, but I sure love the sonic uh, presentation of this particular song, and if the rest of the album is going to uh, sort of follow suit with that. I'm looking forward to hearing some more from these guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments. You know, if you've heard of these guys, uh, I'd like to know. Uh, East of the Wall is the name. Obviously, it's in the title. Um, but uh, comment down below if you'd like to hear more or what you thought of this, uh, of their music, or even what you thought of my uh, commentary. Uh, mostly a little bit during, but I like to wait and sort of drink it all in. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I'll make some comments during the song, even if it's something exciting. I I, I hold back a little bit, you know. Uh, just I don't know why. I just like to hear the song and then make comments later. But uh, fantastic! I enjoyed it thoroughly. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel and uh more to come so we're going to continue on with our theme of some 2023 releases i'm just got kind of a, a bug where i want to hear some new music that is kind of progressive sort of in, in the vein that i like and uh feel free i've got i've got a list a mile long right now of songs i want to of, of bands i want to hear so the bands i want to hear it's it's literally like it's literally you know three pages long every line and that's just the bands you know every band has multiple songs so uh, i don't know how long i'll be on this kick of 2023 but I, I like what i'm doing right now i like i like the idea of just hearing some new music you know I, I've, I've gone back and heard bands that have been around for for years and years and that's good but anyways I'm rambling at this point, just trying to explain myself. I don't need to explain to you. I'm just kidding. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, make sure you check out uh, 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 my my website up here. I, I make it jewelry, hats, I do woodwork. So uh, click on that. Maybe buy something if you feel uh, so inclined. Uh, check out my Patreon. Uh, be happy to have you over there as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Bye-bye.